Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? Today I went to a friend's birthday. Give me a sec. That's better, sorry. I apologize. Looking for my my trusty Sharpie. Let me just, uh, let me pause again. Alright, thank you. If you're still on the video, cool. <laughs> if you even care, cool. If you don't, I don't care. But I just... It's been tough. Yesterday I didn't do the video, which is my first time breaking a streak. But uh, who cares about a streak? The only thing that matters is that you do it. You could always break streaks, but it's fine. It was bound to happen. It's tough to rebound back, you know? Rebound like it never happened. It's not how you fall, it's how you get back up. So that's going to be the title. Get back up. And B day. Friends, B day. So I'm gonna put get back up. Get back up. And friends, B day. Put that over here. Oh. So today, I was a man that I wanted to be. Today, I became a man a little bit closer. Not exactly, but today I became a little bit more of the man that I want to be for my future. My future kids, future wife, future self. I always talk so much about the future that sometimes I don't focus on the present or things I have to do now. A lot of things I have to do now, but today I went to a birthday party, a friend's birthday party. My pronunciation is weird sometimes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um... Friend's birthday party, first time meeting his parents, first time meeting his family friends or anybody else from his social group, and it was nice. And I enjoyed it. I made new friends, got some new numbers, played. Um, what's this called? Let me let me search that up real quick. Rumi Kub, yeah, Rumi Kub. Yeah, I played that Rumi Kub. K-U-M-M-I-K-U-B. Interesting, interesting game. Um, I practiced a little bit on a phone, you know, played a little bit on the phone. And then we, they got the board games. They got, you know, the actual tiles and all that. So it's a game with numbers. I don't want to go too much into detail. But I won one of those games, which is pretty fun. So it was pretty fun. Yeah. I like games like that, you know. Pretty cool. I talked to new people. I looked people in their in their eye. There were some instances where I I do the same thing. When I'm looking at somebody, they look back at me. I have the tendency to look elsewhere. Like immediately look elsewhere. Like, oh okay, I'm listening. So I don't so eye contact and then I sometimes break eye contact. And I do that like some conscious thing. I just like break it. But now I'm starting to enjoy it or having it longer and really, really see them in their eyes. I do have this tendency to when I'm explaining something, I look at the distance and then I start talking and then this and that. And I move. Not, I don't move my body, but I'm just listening. And then I, I am able to catch myself now thanks to these videos and thanks to me continuously improving. I'm able to catch myself now, feel more comfortable catching myself because I've been catching myself sometimes at the beginning and I felt, oh, oh no, they must think I'm, I don't even think of what they think, but I, I feel uncomfortable of my own actions. I do not, I'm not ashamed of what, I'm not ashamed of myself. I am not worried about what other people think as much as, um, it seems it's more of I want to be who I want to be and I want to represent myself to the highest degree that I can at the time and I want to improve the skills that I have to be that person to be what I want to be who I want to be so when I catch myself looking at the distance I used to be like ah, no this is not who I want to be uh, but now I'm like well caught myself revert Got myself. I caught myself. Okay. 
caught myself. Oh, okay. Caught myself explaining a little bit. Look back. Maybe break a little eye contact. Maintain eye contact. Smile. Firm handshake. And, and yeah. And uh, I met cool people. Cool people that are living in the city. Living in um, other boroughs. And it was pretty pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice get to getting to know them. It's still a little awkward. Because um, they themselves are awkward people. So it's a little hard to be that social butterfly or social glue um i'm used to having very social people around me and i enjoy that because i myself am like a social person i'm a very introverted person not a shy person i wouldn't say i am shy i just reserve to myself but i enjoy being with people too so when i see people I have a lot of social friends, high energy friends, and also have a lot of introverted intellectual friends who I can just sit and talk to, and they have low energy, like me. I'm very low, chill energy, neutral energy. I'm not high, but I'm not, I'm not dangerously low. I'm just the amount of, of energy where I can cruise by, I can do the social things, I can just sit down and talk and relax too. So I, I enjoy talking to adults. I really do. I enjoy talking to them more than talking to sometimes younger people because they don't tend to like to have cool conversations. They mostly like to do things and activities, which is awesome. Just that they have a lot more energy than I do. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm 21. I'm not that old. Even people around my age. I'm not that old. It's just they're high energy people where I cannot keep up for them with them after a couple hours. One hour, two hour, okay. After that, I just want to sit down, look, contemplate, be at the moment, talk, maybe enjoy something to eat, but just really relax. Yeah. Uh, I became someone, I became one step closer. I became me, but 1% better, 1% or 2% better today. I talk to clients, I talk to people on the street, I talk to people when I'm sitting on the, um, when I'm sitting, sorry, sitting, standing, when I'm standing in line to the cashier to wait, um, I talk to a lot, I talk to quite a few people, I got a couple numbers for my business, uh, I wanted to do the business page today, but time-wise I just got from, got back from the party. And in the morning, I was doing laundry today, so it was a really tight day, but I would say this. I fall, I get back up. I've, I've had quite, quite a tough two years since I'm here. March 18th, we're almost ending, today is the last day of March. In three minutes, it's going to be it. April, my mother's birthday, April 1st, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with her, she's thousands of kilometers away, or miles, <laughs> and I don't like that, you know, time is very precious, in, two, in these two years I feel like I've developed myself as a person, quite tremendously, even though I have so much things that I have to work on, I can, every day I see improvement. And I've seen, oh, if I, if I were, if I would have been the person I was two years ago, this wouldn't have happened. Or I wouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have been able to do this. The things that I do now. I wouldn't have been as confident. I wouldn't have been able to speak up. I wouldn't have been able to communicate this, do this on my own, do this and that. Feel comfortable. I wouldn't have been able to feel this relax. I see improvement. But now I want success. I've gotten better, but I want to be great. Greatness takes time. And I am going to fall, and I am falling sometimes. I, f I fall. There's a couple days where I I don't catch myself. There's a couple days where I, where I don't do as hard of exercise in the morning, where I don't read as much as I want to. 
where I'm not studying when I get back. And it's tough. It is tough, right? When I don't do the video, it is tough. It's very tough. There are days where you want to quit. There's days where, where you don't do the things that you're supposed to do and you know you want to do. But what I've learned from last year, number one, you have to rest. Last Sunday, I went out to New Jersey, remember, with my same friend that is today's birthday. So these last two two weeks, um, I haven't had time to myself to reflect, so that has been a little bit of a toll on me. But let me tell you this. I haven't gone out in a while, and my friend, he needed someone to talk to and hang out with. And I, I'm glad, I'm glad I was able to meet them, meet their family members and meet him and hang out more. Because at the end of the day, you have to work hard to achieve your goals and dreams. But you also have to have people around you too. People make people better. Also, people make people worse. But that's why you have to choose properly and you have to be around people who make you better and people make people better being by yourself and hustling and just working 24 7 which i want to and do some most days some days most days but you have to be around people too you can't you cannot sacrifice everything you cannot People glorify the culture of sacrifice your twenties in order to in order to be amazing in your thirties, forties. Some people sacrifice a little too much, their health. Should have rested a little bit more, should have gotten more sleep, shouldn't take care of your eyes, your skin, you should have exercised a little bit more, you should have done this and that. But people disregard the relationships in those ten years you missed out on so many birthdays, you missed out on so many so many opportunities to, to build growing long-lasting relationships with other people help people help each other out instead well yes you became very successful but not really talking to anybody nobody really likes you it's not about also it's not about people liking you but it's about people caring for you and of course you could have all the money in the world that for what's that for you're gonna die i want all the money in the world so i can burn it <laughs> i want people to stop fighting each other i wanted so many things when i was younger save the animals that go extinct because Population, global warming, changes in habitat, all that stupid stuff, which I totally agree that I still want to, but can't save them. Turn things you can't do, turn things you can. So get back up on that horse and keep going. Take a break. It's ironic. It's very ironic and very contradicting how the way to live is to work hard and take good breaks. Work hard and take good breaks. Wow. You have to work hard. You have to learn to work hard. Learn to take effective breaks. Not too long, not too short. Work hard, not too much, not too little. Just enough for you to be successful and rest just enough for you to enjoy your success success and share it and that's about it let's do this come on i'm tired sorry but let's do this see you guys